What's up guys? You know what that is? That's pre-workout. Go check out the channel for a video on that shit. That would get into this video. Do you know what an S-curve is? Um, and I want to show you something very interesting. So I started going, but before I do that, make sure you press that subscribe button and that little bell notification. The bell notification is almost like Santa, right? Santa brings you gifts. The bell notification tells you every time I post a video, son. Come on, bro. Anyways, so to get into it, an S curve, it's just kind of like, go. so starting here, it goes up and then turns over, right? Something like that. You see it in terms of like <clears throat> a marketplace, right? Like, oh, it's... It's just in its infancy, it starts to grow, you have some early adopters, then it explodes, and you have a period of very high growth, then it starts to level out, and then you're in maturity, and then and then you're dead, right? Like that would be your life, space, life cycle. Okay, so uh, I want to relate some of this to YouTube. You're like, what the fuck is this guy talking about? Yeah, I know, that's me. Uh, so at the end of October, I had a, a conversation with myself, and I... My job is amazing, right? It's easy, uh, it's six figures, and um, it's, it allows me to do a lot of things that um, in terms of having my time. So when I was running my company, I was working seven days a week, and I didn't have a lot of my time. My time is super valuable to me. So at the end of December, I decided, like, where, where would I like to live? Like, how would I like to live my life? Uh, in terms of what do I want to do, right? If I could do anything in the world, like money wasn't an issue, what would I do? It's like, hmm, well, I might travel. Where would I travel to? I don't know. Well, maybe I'll just like perpetually travel. Or, yeah, I don't know. I'm not sure what it would be, right? So, um, and that, that whole process would be a journey, but you have to have that dialogue in your mind first, right? So that is where I came from when I came and I created this. So this is the minutes watched by the uh, end of March 2020. So that's about quarter million minutes on a weekly basis. And I believe I need about that many minutes on a weekly basis to uh, make about... <coughs> Excuse me. What a fucking pig, right? Who does that on camera? Just cut that out and edit it. <laughs> Rewind. Okay, so 250,000 minutes on a weekly basis. That's what I believe I need to get to about a hundred bucks a day online through YouTube and other sources. So, um, if I need to get here, and I'm starting here, uh, you have two endpoints, so they're just a teeny bit of math, and you can figure out what the growth rate is on a weekly basis that you need to go from here to get to here. So, that growth rate is 7.85%. So I need about 8% growth on a weekly basis over the next year and a half. And remember putting this together at the beginning of uh, November 2018. So putting this together, it's about a year and a half to get to the end of March in 2020, to get to about 100 bucks a day online. That's what my estimate is, right? And I knew that if I just perpetually just kept putting in work and putting in work and putting in work and putting in work day after day after week after week that I would make progress. We'll, we'll see. You know what I mean? We'll see how, how, how long it takes or maybe, maybe the market tells me I suck and like it doesn't actually happen, but I don't know. And it will be a fun journey to go along this process and document what I'm doing and tell you guys, right? Remember, if you have any questions, let me know down below in the comments on your way down to the comments, press that like button. Okay. Now, what the fuck does this have to do with an S curve, Sam? Okay. So now I'm going to go into here. I'm going to show you my YouTube analytics. So I bet you don't know anybody else who's really going through their YouTube analytics on a weekly basis or however often I'm doing these videos to show you exactly what's working and what's not working. So here, here's my channel. We've got, um, I don't have any, the, today is actually um, the 1st of uh, January, 2019. Okay, so you can see right here, this is like, this is pretty decent, right? Like it's this line here, this line is actually the total number of minutes watched, right? It started at about 9,300. And what did we get up to? We got up to uh, 15 and this is over um, that period of time right there. 
So this is over the past, you know, week or so. So like, you're like, oh yeah, it's cool and everything. But you're, you're so like in into the data. You're so in the day to day. So you don't see like the growth, right? Yes, you can see the lines going up, but you, you gotta put in work every single day, seven days a week. Like you're on vacation, you're putting in work. On Christmas, I'm putting in work. On New Year's Day, I'm putting in work. You know what I mean? Like I'm doing this every single day, seven days a week. And so you're you're lost sometimes in the minutia of taking these micro steps forward where in and of itself, you're like, oh, that doesn't do that much. But when you, you add those up, then you really start to see something powerful. So now let's take a look at um, the period from... Let's take a look here. We'll take the we'll take a look at the last 28 days, right? So this would be from towards the beginning of December up until or okay, now that was one week. Now we're going to take a look at the two week period, right? So the two week period, okay, now this is starting to look fancy, right? So this is towards the beginning of December. Um well, actually about the middle of December because it's two weeks. And now you st now you starting to see this. So this is fun, right? Like I like the numbers. You get to, you can start seeing some stuff. And when you start tracking your results, some powerful things really happen. Uh, for me, it's it's the tracking on a daily basis because sometimes we have our heads down, right? Like we're trying to focus on the work we do every day and getting the results. But you don't get results from what you do on a daily basis, in essence, you get results from the aggregation of what you do on a daily basis. And that's a mind fuck, right? Because you don't get the results. You didn't get to where you are today from what you did today. You got to where you are in life from the aggregation of all the decisions you've made over the rest of your life. And that's the same thing that plays out. So when you track those results, and you look for a 7.85% a week over week growth rate in terms of the minutes watched, right? That's what I'm looking for. I'm looking for an 8% growth rate roughly on a weekly basis when it comes to the minutes watched, right? Like I have a tangible thing that I can track, the number of minutes watched, right? And if the number of minutes watched goes up, then views are going to go up, right? But number of minutes watched is a little bit more important in my opinion because, and for YouTube as well, that's like the number one thing for YouTube, but minutes watched, right? I have a video and I put up fucking a girl's ass and I put up like uh, uh, some type of title that entices people to click on it. It's called clickbait, right? And people watch, you know, six and a half seconds and then they click out and you put up some quality ass content, right? And it's two hours long and, and I've got you know, a million views, but, but you only have 500,000 views, right? Like you're half, you have half as many views as me, but people on average watch 90% of your video. That is why watch time is more important because of that. So that's why I'm focusing on minutes watched because people are watching a few seconds of my video and then clicking out the quality of the content matters. Um, and I and stay tuned because I have other videos coming on this topic. Um, also, if you guys have any questions about the ship, make sure you uh, leave them down below. And the way down to the description, you also should press that like button. Um, so now we're going to look at the monthly data. Now it starts to get super interesting. Super interesting. <laughs> so we've got uh, December 3rd through December 30th. And now you, you're like, oh, yeah, boy, this is what this is what I want, son. This is, this is right here. This is the aggregation of marginal gains right here, right? Like, well, actually I saw a dip right there. So we'll just pretend, we'll just move the camera over here. So look at that. It's all going up throughout the entire period. <laughs> um, but you, you get the picture, right? It, it, it starts really fucking adding up. And remember, I've been doing this for about two months, like actually going all in. Um, and so you see this tremendous amount of growth. I mean, yes. It's not vertical, which which would be more fun if it was fucking straight up and down, but it, it's growing, and that's what we want. We want, remember, got to stay focused, and this is why the goal is important, and tracking it.
tracking it is very important um, because I need about an 8% week over week growth rate. Remember, always bring it back to that. Quarter million views on a weekly basis, that comes out to be 8% growth rate. And this is to achieve the goal by the end of March, 2020. Okay. Now, now we're going to start looking at a little bit longer of a time horizon. So now we're going to start looking at the 90 day time horizon. And this is what I'm talking about. Yeah, boy. What's up? So this you can see, and, and if we come over here, um, this is October 2nd to the end of December. Um, as you can see, I started right around here. So you can see virtually flat, right? In terms of, uh, I think I started right about here. Um, so this is the very end of October. You can see right there, 950 minutes watched on a weekly basis. Now, look at this over here. What's up, Sonny? Now that's 15,000 over the last so seven days. This is a rolling seven day period. So 15,500 versus 950. Now we're starting to get something that looks like an S curve, right? In the last 62 days or whatever since I've been putting out content every single day now the aggregation of those marginal gains like putting out content every single day working on trying to articulate more value in every single video that's where it really starts to add up and we're going to look at uh, excuse me we're going to look at one more and that is going to be the yearly or annual um, numbers and this is going to be for essentially the entire year of 2018 right so for the entire year of 2018 um, we are going to let's take a look here look at the total number of minutes watched and then we're going to also look at some other numbers in here okay so this is what I'm this is what I was talking about when I was talking about the s curve right look at that so remember, this is what an S curve looks like, All right? Look at this. This is practically fucking vertical. It's not exactly, but it's 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 getting close to being vertical. So it looks like this is just almost non-existent. Generally speaking, January is the strongest month of the year, and then it tapers down. Generally speaking. Uh, I've been doing this for a few years, but I've never been consistent with putting out content. It might be, you know, three, four, five, six months before I put out content, and then I'll put out a few videos, and then I won't put anything out for a few more months. So I've never really been consistent with it, and this is what the results have been. I get some growth in January, and then it kind of tapers out and goes down into uh, um, the end of the year. And then now that I've been putting out content every single day, I want to show you the actual sheer amount of, uh, of content that I'm putting out. So we're going to pull up the total number of videos published on a seven day basis. So look at this, right? We've got, let's see, this is like a spike right here. So we'll say, look at this one right here. I put out three videos that week, right? That was good. And then here I put out three videos, right? And then right over here in the month of June, I put out four videos. Look at me, I'm fucking a ninja right there. Put out four videos that week. And then, it, and also there's like a dead period here, nothing, nothing in here. I put out one video that week, but like, you know what I mean? Then from the end of April, all the way up to um, May, almost the end of May, I didn't put out anything. And then from the, uh, from June 15th roughly, all the way up, until uh, September, I didn't put a fucking dick out. And then I put one out in there, and then put one out in September and one out in October. Now, this is where I really started putting out a shitload of content, right? So uh, this spike right here, it's not loading, but that's 31, 31 videos over a seven day period. Actually, that's at the bottom there. Um, I don't know why it's not like getting up. There it goes, 40 videos over a seven day period. You know, that's not 40 videos, but it's close to it. It's 37, then over here, and uh, and then this uh, is on its way up from seven as well. So, you get to see putting it out that content has really, really tremendously uh, affected the growth rate. And literally, it's me talking to the camera. I'm not filming, I'm not editing this shit. 
or very, 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 very minute amount of editing. Out of all the videos that I've put out, now I'm gonna pull, pull it up on a, a quarterly basis so you'll be able to see the total number of videos for the entire year of 2018. So look at this, for the first quarter of 2018, I put out 13 videos, yeah, not bad, right? About one per week on average. 10 for Q2, uh, like maybe one every 10 days or so. And uh, Q number three, Q3, I put out one video, and then we have this giant stack here. 241 videos. That's tremendous. And a couple things on that. It's not necessarily the, if you look at a lot of video, if you check out the channel, there's not a ton of videos that have a shitload of views yet, right? Maybe a couple of them that have a few thousand. But it's the quantity, but also, uh, I, I believe the variety because my life doesn't just consume my fitness. Yes, that's a big part of it. That's why you look at the videos and probably 50% of them are related to fitness in some way where the rest of them might be business, just random shit, my life, travel, etc. But a lot of them are based about fitness, but fitness is a big part of my life. But those other parts also garner audience too, right? Because... You can go really deep in this direction, but people also find the rest of your life interesting as well. That was my theory, and clearly it's working. We'll see how 2019 plays out. I'm going to keep you guys posted. I am documenting my journey of getting to 100 bucks a day in line, as I mentioned, so I've already made about 25 bucks. If you want to check out the channel, um, also, if you want to support the channel, if you're still watching this, make sure you subscribe. Press that like button. There's going to be a link in the description for Amazon Associates. Um, that's where I made that 25 bucks from. So if you have any purchases to make from Amazon, um, if you click on that link and then make your purchase, it doesn't cost you anything. Literally, it takes a little bit of that profit from Amazon and just gives it to me. 25 bucks. So I've sold about $400 worth of stuff from Amazon, meaning like you guys have clicked on the link and purchased $400 worth of shit and I get 25 bucks from that. So a very small amount, you know, maybe 5% or something like that, but it's something. And um, when you're getting to 100 bucks a day, you have to start somewhere. So if you want to see other videos like this, um, also about mindset, check out the channel. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys had an amazing New Year's Eve, and I'll talk to you soon. Peace.